Anthony's back with a check of our forecast, and we've got some snow moving in, Anthony. Yeah, I mean, for tomorrow, not quite yet, Janice, but uh, I'm thinking around 9, 10 o'clock in the morning, a few flurries start to flutter on down, very light stuff, but uh, as we approach midday and thereafter, building into these spells of light snow that probably can be embedded with, uh, you know, even some heavier pockets to some degree that will reduce visibilities uh, there late afternoon into the early evening. Eventually, the roadways will get grimy and slippery. I'm looking for a couple inches in Grand Rapids. Really, the forecast unchanged from yesterday. You go back a few days, though, the forecast has changed pretty dramatically. This clipper has a little bit more oomph to it and moving quicker across the Midwest. So if you go back a few days, but I tell you what, we had a partly sunny forecast on Saturday. No longer. Hopefully you're watching and seeing these changes develop uh, over the past 24 hours. Light snow uh, starts to come in by late morning tomorrow. And uh, again, this is not a massive snowstorm here, folks. It's early season. Yes, you got to take it easy out there on those roadways, an inch or two or so. I think the focus is actually north of I-94, more in the vicinity of GR and to the north. That's where the heaviest of the snow will be with this system. And then as it goes by, the system snow clears out of here late evening tomorrow. We'll get on the backside, colder northwest winds will set up. A very similar wind setup, by the way, everybody, to what we had yesterday evening. So those same areas from Holland southward to Paw Paw, Allegan sections like that could be in order for another inch or two on Sunday. Lake effect variety. We won't have that in Grand Rapids. It'll just be the system snow uh, for Grand Rapids tomorrow. Temperatures moderate through the week. That's some good news. We could be upper 40s by Thursday. So any snow that accumulates is going to be going away, I do believe, fairly quickly. Temperatures have dropped quickly this evening down into the lower 20s. Our bottom point has been 22, 23 in GR, but starting to come up now as more clouds have been working in from Wisconsin and Illinois and across Lake Michigan, those pushing back in. So stabilizing these numbers and getting them to rise, I think will actually be around 30 degrees, 28 to 30 uh, by 7, 8 o'clock tomorrow morning. Winds nothing to speak of. Those will pick up slightly tomorrow out of the south and southeast at about 5 to 15, but we're not looking at, you know, real strong winds, blowing snow around, anything like that. Feels like temperatures because of those light winds, basically uh, a non-factor. So it feels like what it basically is on a thermometer which is 24 degrees in Grand Rapids. Broken clouds, uh, but you know, some of this uh, the satellite is not picking up on new clouds that have been shifting in for whatever reason. These mid-level clouds not being detected by the satellite imagery, but more clouds gathering out through Wisconsin and Minnesota, and there's a weather disturbance that is now working out of southern Canada and North Dakota, represented by some of those purple and green echoes, and that's the one that moves quickly across Minnesota and Wisconsin and brings the snow in here by late tomorrow morning. More on that coming up. Let's go to Ann Arbor again and look at this forecast change from several days ago. No sunshine uh, in Ann Arbor tomorrow. In fact, we're waiting to see when the flurries start to pick up towards midday and thereafter. Uh, periods of light snow, depending on how long this game goes, there could actually be a light accumulation on the field. I'll tell you, out in uh, East Lansing, that kickoff at 3.30. Michigan State and Penn State. I think there will be snow on the field, and that'll be a fun one to watch as we go through tomorrow afternoon and evening. Future track model has these clouds thickening up. This is the GFS model. I like the way that it is representing things here. It's got this sliver of snow that comes down across Lake Michigan into our area late morning into the afternoon. The purples signifying where the better snow development is, the better rates, and that'll go into the evening. Again, really focused I-94 and northward with the emphasis I-96 and northward even. And that's where a couple inches will come down into tomorrow night. Take it easy. I'm going to tell you right now, roadways are going to become slickery. Uh, slickery? No, slippery there uh, through the day and into the nighttime period. When the sun goes down, that's when it really gets uh, potential to be slick. And then uh, additional lake effect snow showers, Janice, going into Sunday. But those, again, aimed in the same direction that uh, the folks that got them last night did. And this is the latest run of the model. I think a couple inches. Some of this is going to go into melting and compacting. you got to keep that in mind. But lesser amounts towards Kalamazoo and Battle. Creek seven day forecast looking chilly, but not too bad. We're going to melt this off pretty quickly and drier later in the work week. Anthony, thank you for some.